Boys and sweaty boys, we won. If you've been living under a rock or have been bombarded with a billion videos about it yesterday, because we live in an endless 24 seven news cycle where people are rewarded for regurgitating information as soon as it's presented before actually letting the situation develop, which they all now have to change. Heck, Divers 2 has had a major order in real life. Defeat the automatons. I mean Sony. Sony, the company next to Valve for having a monopoly on Entei games, except one was intentional and the other was very intentional, made a decision that could only been made out of an out-of-touch AI or a beluga whale. Everyone had to link their PSN account. Now this isn't unheard of. It just sucks mega cock. But in this case, the linking was originally optional, and then they try to retroactively change their policy to make it seem like it was required. Of course, one of the community managers dropped this bile titan of a statement, unaware that PSN isn't available in every country, and Sony's own policy states that they can just delete your PSN account if you don't actually live in a country where PSN exists. So they backtracked, and like the train fighters of democracy we are, we hell bomb the Steam page. Within 24 hours, Hell Diggers 2 got an overwhelmingly negative on Steam and Steam was even offering refunds. And that collective hellbomb was strong enough that surprisingly, within a 48 hour time frame, unlike other gaming corporations that are Japanese, they actually admitted their mistakes and reverted their doo-doo brain decision. Now you don't have to worry about getting hacked from Sony's amazing security infrastructure. Unless you're like me and already created and linked a PSN account, not realizing that it was optional. So then you look on Google, which brings you to Reddit, a place where the best advice and opinions appear. Your options are to contact Sony support, who will basically say no at first, and then they'll unlink it after a second email, but then randomly suspend your account, rendering every game that was connected to it unplayable. You can also follow this out-of-date Reddit post, which requires you to have an HTTP debugger and a billion other steps. But the best way to unlink your PSN account is to actually buy Uncharted Legacy of Thieves Collection. There on the menu, there should be an option to click unlink. Click that, close the game. To check if it worked, you can reload Uncharted or to check on Helldivers, go to this file path, change the value to false in the player config. Check on Helldivers 2 if it worked. And yep, thank you Naughty Dog for being extremely based and providing a better customer service experience in the form of account management than Sony. And be happy, you literally don't have to become a web designer just to unlink your PSN account. Us for you gamers have won, and we can continue mindlessly killing Zerg from StarCraft 2 and Terminators until the day we become unalive in real life. Also, League of Legends sucks dick!